Create Studio Review. Hey guys, it's Shai from IntiaAcademy.com and you are watching my Create Studio Review. The latest features that it has incorporated including Doodle Effects and Camera Action 2. It also has a text to speech as well so that you don't need to show your face or record your own voice for creating videos, right? So without further ado, let's dive deeper into this Create Studio Review. Hey guys, welcome to this Create Studio Review and it has got all the latest updates included as I have already told you. So what is Create Studio and why you need this software? See, this can be very effective in creating stunning explainer videos. You can create it at just by pointing your mouse and clicking on it, right? There is no technical expertise or any design skills required for it. They have done for you templates as well and you can also start from scratch as well, right? Now you can go ahead and create square videos which are particularly good for social media. You can create rectangular videos as in you see in YouTube and then you can go ahead and create vertical videos too for stories. Now it also supports custom sizes so that you can produce videos of any dimensions, right? So that's amazing. Then there is 3D explainer videos, 2D explainer videos, scroll shopping videos, promotional videos, doodle sketch videos, character animation videos, logo intros, outros, VSLs and much more. Really imagination is the limit. You can create any kind of videos using this software alone. So that's amazing. It has motion presets, it has custom animations, timeline editor, motion builders, animated characters, text typography, green screen, SVG compatible. It allows you unlimited exports, unlimited time as well. So there is no limitation on the time limit or the number of videos that you can export. It supports full HD export as well and it has shape libraries and a lot more. Text to speech in multiple languages is included. That means you can break the linguistic barrier and can even do video marketing on other parts of the world. So that's amazing. It has got integration with pixels and you can also upload your own custom media as well. So that's great. It has been loved by over 15,000 creators all over the world, including me. And uh, it has got over 4.7 star rating in Trust Pilot. So that's amazing, amazing stats. And this is dig at Create Studio and see how easy or how difficult it should be for you to work with it. So let's dive in to Create Studio. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm within the Create Studio members area and uh, let us create a simple project and show you some functionalities. See, uh, first of all, you can name your project, say for example, demo with uh, Shyam, right? And then you can select a resolution in which your output video would be, right? So you can select 480p, 720p, 1080p, that is full HD. You can also go for stories, that means vertical videos. You can go for Facebook and Instagram square videos. And then you can also go for custom videos as well. So for this example, let us be confined to full HD. And then you can change the background. You can select green screen background as well if you want. So that's amazing. Now let's hit on the create project now. So that will go ahead and create a project for you. So this is the interface of Create Studio. Herein is the timeline. So we'll let you know as we'll go ahead with the tutorial. I don't want to spend a lot of time in all this because uh, during the training, you will learn everything, right? Herein is your preview window. This is your working space and this is your cursor. This is very important. So keep an eye on this as we go ahead with this review, right? So here you will find the track name of different things that you will go ahead and import, right? This is your text to speech functionality. This is your media library. If I click here, I'm not going to use it over here. So I'm just showing you here are some images. You can go ahead and import some videos that you want. You can search for different videos as well. You can go for an audio library. There are huge collection of audios that you can use and it has got some brilliant VFX that you can use. There are sound effects, character sound effects, sound effects as well. There are uh, background music to choose from, all of them free of cost. So that's amazing stuff. Then you can import your own media as well if you want, that is right. So that's a good stuff. You can go ahead and import your videos, your JPGs, your images, whatever you want, right? You can have them differentiated in different folders so that it becomes easier for you. And then there is a text to speech as well. Say for example, uh, if I type in this is a demo on text to speech using uh, create studio, right? So uh, that's it. You can just go ahead and change the different languages. You can see here tons of languages are available. You can choose the accent within different languages. There are different options that you will get. You can change the speed. You can change the pitch of it, right? You can generate the voiceover and then you can preview it to hear it and then once you like it you can import it to your media library once you click on this your media will be imported within a couple of seconds as you saw over there and then you need to go over to your project media and you can find the text to speech over here so that's how it works and then you can just drag it on the working area and you can see it on your timeline so if i play this this is a demo on tts using create studio that's it that's how it works so we will not 
use it any further so i'm deleting it but however that was the way in which you can use it for your voiceovers right now here is the studio option that gives you a lot of options so just let us go through the studio option first so for that let me adjust this height over here so that you get a better knowledge now this is the preview window that i told you whenever you take your mouse cursor over these different things you will get to know a preview so that you get to understand what thing you are looking for and whether that is contained in that folder or not say for example i want to see backgrounds then i should go here and find backgrounds if i was looking for typography i could have gone in here for icons i need to go here for devices i can go over here for emojis i can choose this for characters i can choose this so there are tons of inbuilt assets that you can use and that's amazing stuff so first of all let's add a background right and let us add this one the 3d background so uh, just click on the 3d and this will uh, open up like this and in here you have multiple options to back, uh, import if I want to import the wood office, I can do it like this, right? So that's basically how it works. Now, if you want to trans make a transition from this background to another background, then that's pretty easy as well. Let me show you how you can do that. So for that, you need to again go back to home. And from there, you can go back to transitions, maybe this one in and out. And while moving the transition into the working area, you need to make sure that when you want that transition to appear. So if I just drag it right here, then it will appear at the very first instance. I don't want that, right? I want it to appear at the near end of the first scene. So this is my first scene sending. So I want the transition to appear right here. So now I will drag the transition, right? And you can see the transition is going for a long time. I don't want it to be that long. So I can just drag it and this will get shorter. So that's how it works. That's pretty cool, right? Now I want the new background to be initiated just before the transition is over. So I have moved the cursor over here. So I already told you that keep an eye on the cursor, right? That's very important. So let's go ahead and uh, import another background. Maybe this time let's import an office background and maybe a home office one, this one or this one, whichever you like, right? Just drag it there and that's it. Now let's look out for the transition to happen. So here comes the transition and here comes the second scene so that's how you can change around scenes right so that's how easy it is with that being said now let's play around a little bit with the character so for example i want to insert a character over here so what i can do is again go back to home from their characters from there i can choose different kind of characters are there you can see you can have this kind of characters you can have again uh, classy kind of characters then you can have the 3d kind of characters as well so that's a great thing to have now on the 3d you have many options again so you are not limited by any means of the term right so you can just uh, drag it in here and it will be added again on the timeline based on the position of your cursor now you can see i have got the character in here I want this character to come up in a doodle sketch, right? Say, for example, then first let me position this character over here, right? So that can be done by dragging the character simply. You can resize the character, you can make it larger, smaller, whatever you want, right? Make it sure that it uh, looks a little compatible with the background and all, right? Now, I want this to happen on a doodle sketch, so I will go over to the character and from there you can find the doodle effects over here right you can see it right so from here i will click on the plus sign and that will give me a ton of options these are all different hands that are available which can be used to draw so let us use this one to draw right you can go for manual one as well but uh, i have another tutorial where i go in deep into the doodle sketching model but for now let us assume that you're a beginner so just my suggestion is go for the automatic one because that uh, makes things look a little better right so once that is added, let's take a preview to see how it looks. Amazing, right? So that's how it works and make sure. Now the timeline is very important as I have already mentioned a couple of times. You can see that the doodle effect will take place until this time. Now you can just drag it to make it a little elongated as well. But make sure that while you are sketching it, the character action should remain idle. Why I'm telling that is that if he is performing any other action while you are still sketching, that seems very much unprofessional, right? So you can just add an action and maybe again idle and you can see you have covered the doodle action. So it will sketch for a bit longer now and it will sketch a bit easier way so that you get to understand the sketching as well. Now if you want to add another action, you can just click on add action and uh, maybe add another action like happy. Tom is happy to be there on the scene so just make him be happy and there you go so these are all different characters have different set of actions that they perform someone walks someone can uh, type in something on the computer so depending on the character that you choose you'll get a set of actions so that's amazing right now with that being said i'm not really going to show you up all the actions of all the characters because that is going to take uh, more than a day to complete so i'm not going into that i just wanted to show you how you can play in with different things now 
let's simply play in another thing that is this guy is appearing like who right and then he's staying there and then suddenly disappears this seems a little awkward right so what we can do is that we can select the character make sure that it is selected right there and then you can go ahead to motion and from there you can go ahead to out now on the in i have done doodle effect right so on the out what i'll do is that i'll do a slide maybe slide left so it will just go towards the left so let us now preview and see what happens while the exit occurs so there you go so that's how they exited so there was a exit intent at least right so you can just play around with it that's pretty simple things to have right and uh, you can add in more characters in here say for example if you want to add in a character like bruce you can just go ahead and add it over here okay now let me select bruce and give him a position right here and make him taller like tom so that they are compatible again and while moving any character make sure that you have selected that character otherwise the background will move away now if you want to horizontally flip it you can do that if you even want to vertically flip it you can do that however that doesn't seem appropriate over here but i just wanted to show you the kind of flexibility that it has so now you can exit this and uh, if you want you can save but i am not doing this on a purpose so i am not saving it so let's create another project and this time let us name it something like it could be um i want to show you a couple of features like the camera so let it be camera project and let us use this one as well so uh here we are now in the same way i'll add a background now i'm not going deep into this right now because i have already shown you everything so i just want a background here and let it be a 3d background and let it be a home office right here right so now I want to quickly add a couple of texts so that you get to know what I am talking about or maybe I just want to add a couple two characters so maybe Bruce over here and maybe uh, after a certain time I want uh, Tom so let's take Tom bring him over here so both are right now right here right and let us start with both of them no issues so let us first move Tom to this side and let us move Bruce to this side, right? Now, what I want is that uh, let us add a bit of idle action more so that the characters stay a little longer. So, just let me add a couple of idle actions, and oops, that's it. So, I have maintained uh, them for a certain time over on the screen. Now, what I want to do is that I want the camera to zoom in on. Bruce first, then to zoom in on Tom and then to zoom out, right? So for that, I need to click on this little camera option over here. That will add a camera on my project. If I can show you, just let me show you. There you go. There you are with the camera, right? Now, what I can do is that I can click on this plus and you can see that the camera has appeared over here. So what I need to do is that once the camera, I need to exit this portion over here. And then I can just zoom in maybe like this, right, on to Bruce, right? And then I can add another camera action maybe like this. And then on the end of this action, make sure that you go to the end of the action because within the action, it won't allow you to uh, move your camera scenes and all that, right? Then you can move in on to Tom, right? And then maybe you want another camera action. And on the end of this camera action, you want it to expand, right? So, what our thinking is that first we'll zoom on Bruce, then we'll zoom on Tom, and then we'll zoom out. So, let us click on exit camera after once everything is done. So, for hitting exit camera again, you need to go ahead over here. And then you can click on preview. So, there you go, zooming on both of them and zooming out. So, that's it. That's how easy it is to use that. So now let's jump over to the browser and show you what the pricing of Create Studio is currently. So if I hit CreateStudio.com and if I go over to Buy Now, so it provides with two plans. One is the standard plan that comes at $99 a year and the other is the All Access Pass that comes at $299 a year. But if you go down on the description of this video and click the link to my bonus page, you will be driven to here that is on my bonus page where you can check for yourself what the features of Create Studio are. However, I have told you everything, so uh, I don't think you need to go through all this. What I really want you to go through is the kind of bonuses that I have. Now, I have bonuses worth $4,147, which include 12 premium software with reseller rights that you can resell at any price you want. Then I have also got you covered with 
more than 10 plus premium softwares which are all still being sold on different platforms and each of them cost you more than $47 on the front end, right? So I have got you covered with all those. Then I've got 16 premium software with reseller license. If you do purchase Create Studio with me during this time, right? So all of those can be yours and you can claim all of those. So for that, you just need to click on any of these red buttons that will take you to that one time offer that I'm talking about. And from there, you can purchase your version of Create Studio. Then all you need to do is uh, shoot a mail to us on this email ID over here and you need to attach your receipt to it so that we get to know that you are the right man who had made the purchase and you can just mail us and within 24 hours all your bonuses will be delivered on the email from which you have mailed us so that's how simple it is right so with that being said please feel free to see if you are getting pay studio at any better deal rather than us but i'm quite sure that none would be offering such a no-brainer deal as we are and the kind of tool it is, it can really help you with your video marketing. It has commercial license so that you can go ahead and sell these videos on different marketplaces and you can even sell it to your local clients. Videos are the most cutting edge marketing tool that you will ever need, right? So with the growing demand of videos are going to grow higher and higher with each day. So I would definitely recommend this tool for you and I really hope that you guys have loved this Create Studio review. If you have loved this Create Studio review and if you have really loved the effort that I put into create this video then please help me with a like that in turn helps me to reach out to more audiences and if you have not subscribed to me as yet then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell notification icon so that you never miss out on any upcoming videos that I have on product reviews or on trainings on making money online. With that being said, I really hope that you have loved this Create Studio review. Signing off is Shan from NK Academy. Take care. Bye-bye.